to start with nothing you see here no branch whatsoever that you can see right now will grow a grape this year grapes grow on the branches from last year this plant grew last year and these will open up each one of them and be as long as this one and they will produce a shoot and each shoot will produce two bunches of grapes so what you try to do if you had two down at the bottom and two up here at the top you would have 80 bunches of grapes and so I have marked with survey ribbon the ones that I want to save now that one has like seven bunches on it so I want to save this one here now some of these most of these blossoms will take at this point you want to wait until they've started to swell up so that you know they'll work and they'll come out see that that one there hasn't swelled up yet but it probably will but it might die where these on either side of it has swollen up and the browner they are is the less likely that they will swell up and send out a shoot of vegetative growth so everything that is not marked with a piece of this survey or is attached to the cane that the survey ribbon piece is on has to be cut out another thing you can use is a clothespin now this grape we're trying to get it back to where the canes that grow fruit are emanating from the center of the grapevine and see last year's canes were here a long way from the center but see we've got buds down in here coming along and if worse comes to worse we can use that one because it can grow 10 feet long and then we cut it off to here and use that and then all this would get cut off so you'd have just one going each way but since mine don't have 10 on each one like this side doesn't have 10 I'm saving this one so I don't want to cut this or that but next year I will have the growth up close to grow my grapes I'm trying to shrink the growth zone back to the center on a real old orchard you'd have a stump here that big and all these things grow right out of the stump now this was easy to get back because everything's sort of close to the center all these little caves can open up and grow and next year they'll produce buds like this that will grow grapes I'm doing this uh, about eight days after I pruned this to let you see where the grapes actually grow at the first part of this video I said all that you saw no grapes would grow on any of the wood you saw but every one of these off of last year's canes will grow grapes it's a lot easier to see down here they get a little more sun but see that shoot right there has got two grape clusters forming That one there actually has a little third one with two grapes forming. Now, it's all on last year's canes. The new shoots off of last year's canes, which weren't there a few weeks ago, will produce your grapes. Now these growing down on old wood won't produce grapes it's on last year's canes I think I've said this before in a video when I took a master gardening course oh, over 20 years ago we went to a man's place and he grew nothing but small fruits and uh, apples and pears and cherries and blackberries blueberries he grew it all and he explained to us how to grow grapes and we were walking amongst ourselves and people started saying did you understand what he was talking about with grapevines and most of us said no including me and he had just explained it to us it's a little difficult to get the concept but it grows on the growth of last year so this growth that's growing grapes this year 
that cane will produce that shoot like this one was last year's cane that grew grapes that cane will grow grapes this year and produce a new shoot like that on it next year to grow grapes